What is going on guys, this is Russell VXL 9 and in this video I'll be doing a complete breakdown of this RC trailer. So let's go. Okay, so first the basics. This is a trailer made to haul your RCs and uh, I pretty much customized it so you had the summit tires on it, the uh, stock summit tires, and I customized the hitch so it can hook up behind the summit. I'll be showing you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so uh, here's the hitch that hooks onto the summit. As you can see, there's two different plates on there with holes drilled completely through. And there's also a little clip. So uh, pretty much what you do is you hook this on pretty much where the rear bumper goes. As you can see, there's screws going through this plastic right here. And uh, take this bumper off, slide this right in, and uh, put these two screws right through these holes and uh, mounts perfectly. So all you gotta do is make one of these and you're all good. So uh, that connects to this long uh, rod looking thing and it's so long because uh, if it was shorter I wouldn't get full turning clearance. I'd be hitting my tires whenever I turned. So uh, I extended that so yeah, pretty cool. Easy hookup, easy travel. Let's get on to the next thing. The next thing that I've customized on this trailer is the hold down for the cars. Pretty much what I did is I put some little bolts on uh, four spots of the trailer and then I got bungee cords as you can see right here it's the yellow one. And uh, pretty much hook it around the bumper, the tires, whatever you can get around depending on the size of the RC. And it holds the RC in. So uh, let's undo these bungees and see how it works. So it's cut off. Undo this side. Right there. Undo the ones in the back. The car is now free. Now you could just pull it off, or if you want the full capacity of this trailer to work. You undo this little pin right here that holds the trailer from flipping back. And some of you guys are new, maybe like flipping back, what do you mean? This is a tilt deck trailer. Very cool. And uh Yeah, um I'll show you I'll show you guys how that works. But pretty much how the tilting part works is when this screw's undone, it allows this plate to uh, open up and uh, let the car go up or down and uh, when you want it to stay down you un you uh, tighten the screw Just give me a second here. tighten the screw and it goes goes over it goes over the back so that it cannot flip up and your RC won't slide off. So, uh, pretty pretty good design. Also, you can see these are where my mounting bolts are. Pretty good. These are plastic, uh, very hard plastic plates on there. Um, the trailer itself is made of steel. Very heavy, but it also will not break. Aluminum, I now know, might have been a better choice, but it works pretty good. So, uh, let's go underneath it. Okay, so underneath the trailer, it looks like this. And, uh, it looks like a pretty simple design. Let me take this out of the stand. Please excuse the shakiness. But, uh, you got the frame. You got the two axles, or solid axles. Um, I would have made them, uh, split axles, you know, kind of like a differential, so that it'd have better turning, but uh, since it's a tilt deck trailer, I'd have nowhere to really hook it up, hook up the uh, diff to. So, uh, anyways, this is the uh, front. Tires go through uh, the holding rods, then they have washers welded onto them, so that they don't pop in and out 
going different directions. Got a support rod right here. Got a support rod going down the center. Got some frames on each side. And uh, yeah. And as you see, all this metal metal is uh, welded together. I used a MIG welder. You could probably also use arc since it's steel. But uh, yeah, as you see, these screws are coming out. Those are holding in these plastic plates. And uh, yeah, you can see the bottom of where the little tie downs are. And uh, yeah. You know, it takes a bit of planning to make this trailer. You can kind of make it however you want. Oh, but uh, I guess I'll show you how the tilt deck kind of works from underneath. So let me go ahead and unscrew it from the top. It's all the way done. See it opens up. And uh, to keep this tilt deck from kind of caving inward there's this uh, metal kind of stopping plate right there so that it doesn't go all the way in it stops right there and uh, they're pretty good at the uh, rear I, uh, I cut this steel right here at an angle so I could lay another plate on top and have it be tilted so it works good as a tilt deck um, something I forgot to do, which I think might have helped, is if at, uh, this part right here, it's very slippery. If I would have added a little bit of sand to the paint, so it got grip. But, uh, it works pretty good. You know. So, uh, anyways, that about ends the video. If you guys have any questions at all, you know, just let me know in the comments. Uh, if you haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe. I'll be doing, I'll be doing some more videos with this trailer. Uh, something I have mentioned in other videos is these tires are from the Summit, and they are extremely, uh, extremely soft, and uh, it makes it a bit harder for your Summit to pull it. I made a video with Summit, or his uh, Rustler run footage, or something like that. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description, but uh, you can watch it. I actually used this trailer for the video. Uh, worked okay. It got stuck in a few spots when skin because it's so heavy, and uh, these tires really had a drag to it because they're so soft. You know, if you have flat spots everywhere you're going, it's gonna be hard. I am planning on getting some uh, kind of like wagon tires to put on here instead, uh, but uh, instead of having plastic ones on plastic tread on the outside, I'm gonna try to get rubber tread so you don't hear that loud uh, plastic sound every time you go on concrete. But uh, once again, that about ends the video, so any questions at all, just leave in the comments. Uh, if you want to watch my Rustler run footage that has my Rustler riding on here, I'll leave that in the description. And if you haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe. And I uh, hope you enjoy these pictures of the trailer. Rustler VXL9 is out.